Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the claggers. I'm going to show you what they are, how to use them, and how to optimize the damage that you do with them. A clagger is a distinct animation that is specifically made to let you safely claw to the monster. It is a universal animation, which means that every monster will have it and they will stay staggered for the same amount of time. So what should we do with those claggers? Well, there is two things you can do with those claggers. You can use them to refresh the tenderize, or you can use them to do extra damage. So how do you know when to refresh the tenderize or when to do extra damage? With bow, it is extremely important that the part that you're focusing is always tenderized. Once you tenderize a part, it will stay tenderized for 90 seconds. And since bow is a light weapon, it takes two claw attacks to refresh the tenderize. So if you want to keep a part tenderized or softened, you need to at least do two claw attacks in every 90 seconds. So if you know that you're able to get more than two claggers every 90 seconds, or that the monster is almost dead, then you can use those claggers to fit extra damage. This is the kind of things that comes with experience, so experiment with it, see what works and what doesn't, and you'll get to know by your experience. There's only so many combos that you can do before and after the clagger to optimize the damage and I'm gonna go over each of them. First of all, let's look at how to optimize the damage if you use the clagger to refresh the tenderize. Velkana will be my test subject for all of these demonstrations. The best combo to do on a clagger before using the clutch claw is rapid power dash power. This is the combo that you should try to do every time because that's the one that does the most damage. However, it's also the hardest one to land. The timing is tight, so you need to start this combo immediately after the clagger starts. Also, since you're using a lot of spreads, you need to make sure that you're not too far away from the head when the clagger happens, or you won't be able to use this combo. The second best combo is rapid dash rapid power. This does a little bit less damage, but if the monster is too far away to do the first combo, this is the best alternative. You also use more stamina because you have to dash twice. However, the timing is less strict than the first combo. The third combo is just rapid rapid power. This does the least amount of damage, but this is the combo that you're going to use if you're completely out of stamina. The timing is also very generous, so don't be afraid, you're not gonna miss the clutch claw. Now the absolute worst combo you can do, and the one you should try to avoid, is rapid dash, rapid dash power. It's the combo that does the least amount of damage, and the one that uses the most stamina. The only reason you would use it, is if the monster is claggering very far away from you. Those are the combos that you can do before a clutch claw, but what do you do after the claw attack? Well, it's simple. There's only two combos that I'm gonna show you. The best one is quick shot dash rapid power. It is very stamina friendly, the timing is perfect, and the damage is very good. It is the one that I try to do every time. I'll show it one more time. The second one is dash rapid dash power. It does almost the same amount of damage as the first combo. However, since you have to dash twice, it is more stamina intensive. To get the perfect timing, I always do one step before I start the combo. I use this combo instead of the first one when I land too far away from the head. 
So now let's look at the combos that you can use if you want to use the Clagger for extra damage. For this, there are a lot of different variations that you can do, but I will give you the ones that I use the more often. The first one that I like using is Rapid Power, Quick Shot Rapid Rapid Power. It's a good mix of damage and it's also very stamina friendly, so I like to use this one. However, you do have to be very close to the head for it to work. Another one I like is Rapid Rapid Power, Dash Rapid Power. It does the same damage, but since you dash twice again, it's a little bit less stamina friendly. Also note that if the monster claggers very far away, like on this clip, you can dash twice to close up the gap. It does the same damage, but of course, you use more stamina because you dash one more time. There are more combos that you can use, of course, but those are variations of those same combos, so I will leave you experiment with it and find those variations. There is one more thing that you can do with the claw. When the monster is claggering, you can use the claw to extend the duration and let go right away to feed more damage. While I don't recommend to use it most of the time, it's useful in some situations. For example, if you're trying to stop a monster that is limping away or flying away, or if you're in multiplayer and you want to allow your teammates to do more damage. If I choose to do this, the best combo to do after you let go is quick shot, rapid, rapid power. It's just the best timing. Okay, I hope that was useful to you guys. Optimizing the damage you do on Clagger is a big part of the bow. Don't underestimate the damage you can do on those Claggers because it will add up and it's a big part of the damage you do overall during the fight. As usual, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will see you next time.